Well, there's a lot of revelry that goes down on closing day in the valley, and we want to make sure everybody stays safe out there when they're traveling from Vail back home or to the mountain. And that's why I've got Hillary Higgins from Eagle River Youth Coalition here to talk about some impaired driving tips. Hillary, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Not too bad. I love these sunny days. Yeah, thanks for having us. Oh, you're quite yeah, close welcome. Close the season. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to a great closing weekend, but I also want myself to stay safe and everybody else to stay safe. So first off, what's your role with Eagle River? So I am the safe driving coordinator at the Eagle River Youth Coalition. And basically, I work with community members and stakeholders to develop plans to decrease impaired and distracted driving throughout our whole county. Which is really important, especially up here in the mountains. There's a significant amount of that that goes on. And the more people can be informed about ways to get around and ways to avoid it, the more safe we can all be. Yeah, I totally agree. We have been working on strategies that have been implemented um, throughout the spring, and then we'll have more in the fall. So some of those strategies that our committee members, who are comprised of law enforcement, school administrators, um, and different local community members have come up with about five different strategies and one of those is alternatives to happy hours. So we'll be hosting some events this fall um, that will be free to attend. Um, we'll be screening a documentary called Six Gifts um, from a local nonprofit here in Avon called Sober and Stoked. So we'll partner with them and then we're going to also work on developing a video game competition yeah, for that's youth like and adults. Yeah. Yes, so our target age range is 15 to 34. So we'll be holding that um, we're also helping pay for additional training for all law enforcement on impairment um, when they pull someone over additional training um, to what they receive at the academy. So that's happening probably in June this year um, to get more police out on the roads looking for impairment. And then we're also doing something called the graduated driver's licensing laws, which basically is how you get your license when you're 15 and how you become a licensed driver. So I have a presentation partner, Fernando Almanza, who is a Vail Dispatch. Um, we're going to all local schools, so we're going to do Red Canyon and Vail Ski and Snowboard Academy and do whole school assemblies for their high school to teach them about safe driving and to talk about distracted driving and how we can reduce that. And then we'll go to the rest of the schools and we're working with parent and teacher organizations at Battle Mountain to put on more events in the hospital too. Yeah, it really goes beyond just impaired driving, especially for the youth. It's all about the distractions right now. Yeah, so the distracted driving, we're also working on putting signage um, on the highways and near the schools that say, don't be distracted when you drive or different kind of catchy phrases. Yeah. So we're funded through two sources. My position, it's the Persistent Drunk Driving Fund and that funds all of our impairment work. And then the CDOT Fund um, funds all of my distracted driving work. Okay. So we're working on the community. We're one of a few grantees that actually have it in the mountain town. And um, we're also trying to come up with different ride options. Like you said, for closing day, that's a huge day. Um, look at your bus schedules, ride taxi, um, high mountain taxi. I believe there'll be Uber and Lyfts up here as well. Um, we did a little story, our little run in the Vail Daily around New Year's Eve driving and those resources. You can also go to the Eagle River Youth Coalition and find out more driving options. There's also a program here in Avon actually called Tipsy Taxi that local bars have vouchers to give to the different taxi companies um, if the person at the bar is too impaired to actually <coughs> um, drive home and they just need to walk them to the cab and give them the voucher. And that can actually be a free cab ride. It is, it's up to $20 free, so yeah. it will get you home um, from Eagle Vale to, I believe, Wolcott. And um, we have 50 or 60 bars that have those locally here in just Avon. We don't have that in the other towns yet, but be aware that if you're partying in Avon and you wanna ride home, ask one of the bartenders, you know, if you're, if you're super impaired, or they see that you're super impaired, if you could get a tipsy taxi ride home. Yeah. Well, so. thank you so much for coming on, Hillary. That's such great advice. And, and just knowing that, especially in the town of Avon, that you have access to, as long as you know you're impaired, just go to the bartender and they should be able to help you out. Yeah. And uh, have a great closing day. Thanks again. Hopefully your actions can help reduce impaired and distraction driving. I know we certainly appreciate it here. Yeah, that's our goal. We have a few years to do it. So thank you for having us. Yeah, you're quite welcome. Appreciate it. All right. Coming up next, we've got more Good Morning Vale, including a live look at on-mountain conditions.